Hey guys and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. Let's see if I have... Join parts, separate parts. Shock abs... Oh, that's cool. So I can... Oh, that's cool. I didn't realise I even fucking had that. Did I get a pot? No, I didn't. Annoying! Right, let's check the orders. Right, so I've got some of these. Let's just go with this thing. When driving through another city, I didn't notice a speed bump. Please check out the front suspension because I have the impression that something's not right. Alright, well, let's check this baby in. Uh, first thing that I want to do is take it onto the test path because they says it was a sp suspension issue. The fuck am I? <laughs> I do anything? No, still can't do anything with my repair bench. Oh, excuse me! Right. Yep, let's run the test path on it. Well, at least it works. At least the car starts up. Yeah, your brakes seem a bit fucked as well, then. Yeah, the front brakes look fucked. Nice car you got here. When the cars are rocking, don't come knocking. A couple of a couple of little scuffs on your interior here. I mean, if you if you want, we could rebuild that interior for you. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the front is fucked. All right, let's move you onto the lifter. Okay. Let's get this baby up there. Ooh! There's a lot of parts that we haven't discovered that are fucked right now. Right. Let's uh, take it to the garage entrance and we will take it out for a wee test drive as well. And we'll see exactly what's wrong with it. I feel like that's the... Oh, I can go to the junkyard and stuff. Oh, so that's obviously how I get vehicles. I can go to the junkyard or go to the... Oh, that's sweet. Obviously, this will test the suspension and the brakes as well. I already know the brakes are fucked, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trust my life in the hands of a car with fucked brakes. So I wonder if the the handling's all like properly checked out and stuff for uh, like it's all it's all properly uh, conforms with the physics engine for like if you had like fucked suspension and stuff like that. <laughs> wow, those brakes are fucked. I like how I can just reverse back into it and it's like, yep, sorted, happy. Loading. Karmahanic. I look legit like this game. Okay, so that's telling me that, yeah, let's look, there's a lot of shit fucked with this. So we caught everything? Well, there's two parts not discovered, but I've, uh, I've already done everything that... I know what I can do, so... Okay. Well, let's get it up. Hey, my parts not so empty. Nice. Okay. No. It all seems to be very... front-facing. Okay, so let's get examine mode on the go. That I'm going to need two of. I'm going to need two of that as well. Drive axle seat. Yep, the inner tie rods and the outer tie rods I'm going to need two of. 
Need two front shock absorbers as well, it looks like. And the sway bar front end, I'm gonna need two of. shock absorber and the right alright that looks like it's about us so let's start pulling shit apart hmm I don't know if I I don't know if I actually got the uh If I added that part, so that's the lower, yeah, that's the lower suspension arm. All right, let's remove the the wheels because the wires, the wheels, because they need removing. Let's just stare into the uh, the arsehole of the wheel. Okay, this looks all right. Okay, so that spring looked okay. I mean, I'll probably have to remove uh, remove some of the stuff off of that. There's no point in getting rid of the spring. Right there, a tie rod. With the inner tie rod, the lower suspension arm can come off as well. Right, front drive axle, sway bar front end, and the front shock absorber. All right, I think we probably got everything. There's still some parts that we haven't uh, haven't discovered yet. That's fine. Uh, right, shopping list. All right, I need lower suspension arm. Two of them. Front drive axle C. Front drive axle A, B, and C. Two of them. And our tie rod. Two of them. Our tie rod. Two of them. Front shock absorber. Two of them, two front shock absorber caps, and sway bar front end link A. Alright, sweet. Uh, separate parts, please. Okay, that looks a bit janky. Okay, let's hope that the second one actually works. Nope, still looks janky. Okay, that needs fixing. Okay, let's join parts. I need that, that, and that. Yes. Yeah, that needs fixing. <laughs> still looks terrible. Which is weird, considering all the other stuff that they've done looks so good. Like, actually good. Like, all the, the tire stuff looks phenomenal, but this just looks bad. Do I have interest in anything I can fix? No. I don't understand. Alright, um, I think I've got everything now. Um, apart from the two things I've not discovered yet. Uh, no, what am I doing? Nope, stop that. Ah, it's obviously the radio. Stuff to do with the radio. Alright, lower suspension arm, yep, yep. Alright, let's get the new front drive axle on it. Alright, the new shock absorber that I just built for them. Uh, 
Okay. Ah, there it is there. Let's sway by front end, link A. Right, where's the next thing? There we go, the inner tie rod. And the outer tie rod. Alright, now we can get the tire back on. Okay, now I need to head to the other side. Yep. Okay, install this one. Now tie rod sorted. New shock absorber. Now I think after this link, it's just the tire, and then we're. Yep. Now I just need to sort the radiator out. Okay. Right, let's bring it down. Pop the hood. God, the radiator is just fucking fucked. Yeah, fan housing needs fixing. Is that right? Radiator A and fan housing B. Yep. Radiator A and radiator fan housing B. Okay. Right, let's go park mount. Let's shove a radiator on it. Of Van Housen B on it. Sorted, everything's fixed. Yes, let's finish the order. Ugh, that wasn't even that good a fucking order for us. We don't actually have another story order left. Jesus. Well, I mean, that only took us 12 minutes. We blasted through that one. Let's, uh, so I can go to the car auctions or I can have a look at the junkyard. I wanted, like, I want to head to the, oh no, I can't. The junkyard and the car auctions are closed off just now. Oh, that sucks. So do I need to unlock them? Power trade tester. Uh, successful repair chance raise, that's cool. Instantly examine three car parts, the first time seeing it. Oh, that's cool. Unlocks the tar. Yeah. Where was the? Where's the auction then? Yeah, it doesn't. It actually doesn't seem like. Oh wow! There's <laughs> wow. There's quite a few things. Oh shit! Okay, so I'm guessing that the auction is. Like, it's actually part of a, a thing. Filter needs replacing. Okay. It's even got a list, which is good. A what filter? Oil filter and a fuel filter. Okay. Well, let's get the fuel filter sorted right now. Uh. Fuel, what the fuck's a fuel filter? Right there. Okay, and I need the... I need the oil filter as well, so let's pump that up. Okay. So what did I just take out there? I took a fuel filter out. That's just a regular fuel filter. Alright. Uh, fuel filter sorted and an uh, oil filter okay I need to check to see what fucking oil filter is this guy's got well, let's at least put the fuel filter back on that I've got a new one ok 
Okay. Sorted. Oil drain. Alright. Drain the oil. Okay. Mount the new... Oh, it's an I-4 I need. Okay. I thought it was a, a blue one. 23 bucks. Sorted. Okay. So, one small little complaint I've got about the um, about this game is that the improvements to your garage, instead of it being like experience based, they should have had it uh, money based. So like you actually had to, uh, you had to earn money so that you could exp expand your garage and get the different bits and bobs. Because right now it's like, oh great, I've uh, I've literally just got like all of this stuff for my car for uh, for my garage by doing jobs, but I've still got all this cash. Like oh okay, well, that's a weird one. There you go. See you later, mate. Uh, what are we sitting on? 16 minutes. Alright, we can take another one. Brake problems, ugh. Brake system, ugh. Sloppy car scene, ugh. Suspension clunks and rattles, ugh. Replace all filters. I can do that one. And then we'll... Oh, it's the RX-7. Nice! So we can work on a Mazda. That'd be cool. It's a, a rusty Mazda, but... Uh, right, move it into the, the car lifter. Pop up once. All right. Please check it. Oh, it's got an ROT oil filter and a regular fuel filter, and that's literally all it needs changing on it. So, uh, and fuel filter. Okay. Boom. Bang. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Didn't even think of that. Right, let's take the clips off. Okay, and let's change the, it's a rotty air filter. Okay. Oh, it's all got the, the Mazda logo on them, that's interesting. So you know what ones are what. Okay, air filter rotty, nice new one. Air cover, okay. Whoops. I'm just waiting on getting something that's an absolute heap of junk and just doing it all up. Having like a little side project. Alright, send it off. That's my like 70 bucks, got it done. Nice. I don't have any. Oh, I do, nice. Uh, tire tread tester. I kind of like that, just being able just to instantly see stuff. The tablet I'm not that worried about, I'm pretty close to the stuff. Uh, uh, let's get educated, sure. Is everything's un unlock cost one? Yeah, what's the point in having the fucking things then if it's all one? Christ, what's the point in even having a cost? Alright, but unfortunately guys, that is all we've got time for in this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching, I've been CG, you've been awesome, I'll see you next time, bye bye.